Hi, I'm Dave Gardy from Maritime TV from our studios here near Washington, D.C. in preparation for the upcoming Hacknack Shipping Conference. With us via Zoom right now from New York is Mr. Ted Horton, who's a partner in the capital and markets and securities area of Seward and Kissel. Thanks for joining us, Ted. Thanks for having me, Dave. Give us an overview of the practice area you're involved with at Seward and Kissel. So I'm in, I'm in our capital markets uh, and securities group. So uh, Seward and Kissel has been very involved in the maritime space really since the beginning of sort of the current uh, trend of, of shipping companies going public back in the uh, late 90s and the early 2000s. Um, I think our firm has probably been involved in uh, the majority of the public company uh, transactions in one capacity or another over that time. Um, we continue to do a lot of work in, in the shipping area. Obviously, the shipping capital markets have had a bit of a dry spell in terms of uh, new entrants into the market in terms of IPOs. Um, but I think that you know the, the shipping is, we've been saying this for a couple of years, but shipping is next year is going to be the year. Um, I like to say I think there's still some positive um, some reasons to be optimistic um, over the next year or so for the capital markets for shipping. Um, you know, we've started to see in certain sectors, there's been a recovery in some of the rates uh, that we're seeing now. Um, but I think more importantly than that, that the, the broader markets um, in the capital markets areas are obviously very, very strong right now. I think some people would say that they're probably too strong uh, for their own good. Uh, but I think there's certainly some opportunities so we're, we're hopeful that shipping will be able to capitalize um, on these markets. Uh, one of the areas that I spend an awful lot of time in that as of yet has not seen a lot of uh, sort of participation by the shipping industry, but is the SPACs that everyone's talking about, which is really accounting for a large percentage of the capital market activity in the U.S. Um, but there are a number of players in the shipping space, both on the on the issuer side, looking to capitalize that, um, as well as some of the people that might be considering otherwise the, the, the sort of the private, or I should say rather the traditional IPO market um, are, are interested in SPACs. So we're, we're hopeful that the shipping markets will benefit from those SPACs uh, coming up in in 21, um, you know, I think there are other some areas that are that are interesting times for shipping. I think with with the new administration in Washington and some new focus on some ESG issues and some other aspects, it's uh, it's both a challenging time for shipping uh, to adapt to those. But I also think there's some real opportunities. So, how do you think the new administration will affect the cap capital markets, both in shipping and from a general perspective? I think it's it's interesting. I mean, it's always the unknown is always a little bit um, unsettling. It's sort of the devil you know versus the devil you don't know. Um, I think there's certainly an expectation that the current administration and some of the names that we've seen coming in, for example, as chair of the SEC, um, probably are going to take a slightly more hands-on approach um, on, on the regulatory side. And I think you've obviously seen also um, already coming from this administration a focus um, on certain ESG issues uh, and obviously the, on, on the environmental issues. Um, you know, shipping, shipping historically in some sectors more so than others have, have felt that ESG is sort of a challenging market for them or a challenging message. Uh, but I think that there's actually a, a flip side to that as well. I mean, I was actually on a call earlier today with a company and talking about how to sell this issue and you know, other industries have done this. I mean, if you talk about ESG, you talk about even on the environmental side, um, shipping moves the vast majority of goods around the world and they do it on a on a sort of carbon basis if you will on a very very efficient basis and i think that's the messaging that shipping has to has to get out there um shipping obviously also has opportunities to look at the alternative energy uh, spaces which is closely related to shipping and i think you've seen some players sort of looking in that area so i think um again i think there's an unknown there but i think this presents some opportunity for shipping and i think that we'll be able to adapt to the new environment very well Excellent. Well, I appreciate the time you've taken with us today. Ted Horton, Capital Markets and Securities Partner at Seward & Kissel. Thanks for joining us, Ted. Thanks, Ted. I'm Dave Gardy from Maritime TV in preparation for the 27th Annual Hacknack Shipping Conference. Stay tuned.